Pope Gregory I, also known as Saint Gregory the Great, is one of the most admired popes in history. His feast day is commemorated by the Roman Catholic Church every September 3rd. Gregory was born in the year 540 into a wealthy noble Roman family. His father, Gordianus, served as a senator and the prefect of the city of Rome. His mother Silvia, and two paternal aunts are honored by Catholic and Orthodox churches as saints. Gregory was a great-great-grandson of Pope Saint Felix III. Gregory received a classical education in liberal arts and the law. He became a government official, advancing quickly in rank, to become the prefect of Rome like his father, the highest civil office in the city, when he was only 33 years old. On his father's death, Gregory converted his family villa into a monastery dedicated to Andrew the Apostle, later rededicated as San Gregorio Magno al Celio after his death. In his life of contemplation, Gregory concluded that, in that silence of the heart, while we keep watch within through contemplation, we are as if asleep to all things that are without. Eventually, Pope Pelagius II ordained Gregory a deacon and solicited his help in trying to heal the schism of the three chapters in northern Italy. In 579, Pope Pelagius II chose Gregory as his Apocrisiarius, ambassador to the imperial court in Constantinople. From Rome, he was dispatched to Constantinople to seek aid from the emperor for Rome's civic troubles and to aid in resolving the Eastern Church's theological controversies. He returned to Rome in 586, after six years of service as the papal representative to the Eastern Church and Empire. Rome faced a series of disasters caused by flooding in 589, followed by the death of Pope Pelagius II the next year. Gregory, then serving as abbot in a monastery, reluctantly accepted his election to replace him as the Bishop of Rome. When he became Pope in 590, among his first acts was writing a series of letters disavowing any ambition to the throne of Peter and praising the contemplative life of the monks. In his official documents, Gregory was the first to make extensive use of the term servant of the servants of God, service servorum Dei, as a papal title, thus initiating a practice that was to be followed by most subsequent popes. Despite this initial reluctance, however, Pope Gregory began working tirelessly to reform and solidify the Roman liturgy, the disciplines of the Church, the military and economic security of Rome, and the Church's spreading influence in Western Europe. Gregory brought his political experience at Rome and Constantinople to bear, in the task of preventing the Catholic Church from becoming subservient to any of the various groups struggling for control of the former imperial capital. Pope Gregory had strong convictions on missions, Almighty God places good men in authority that he may impart through them the gifts of his mercy to their subjects. And this we find to be the case with the British over whom you have been appointed to rule, that through the blessings bestowed on you the blessings of heaven might be bestowed on your people also. As the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, he sent out missionaries to England, often called the Gregorian Mission, to evangelize the pagan Anglo-Saxons of England, and is given much of the credit for the nation's conversion. Gregory was the only pope between the 5th and the 11th centuries, whose correspondence and writings have survived enough to form a comprehensive corpus. Some of his writings are Moralia in Job, Pastoral Care, Liber Reguli Pastoralis, Dialogues, which is a collection of four books of miracles, signs, wonders, and healings done by the holy men, mostly monastic, of 6th century Italy followed by a second book entirely devoted to the popular life of Saint Benedict. Sermons which is a collection of the 40 homilies on the Gospels, and in Librum Primum Regum Expositio, also known as the Commentary on First Kings. Also, some 854 copies of his papal letters were made by scribes into a registrum, register, and are stored in the Vatican Library. Gregory maintained a humble sense of his mission, as a servant and pastor of souls, from the time of his election until his death on March 12, 604. It is said he was declared a saint, 
immediately after his death by popular acclamation. Originally, St. Gregory's feast day was commemorated every March 12. Following the imposition of Pope John XXIII's Code of Rubrics in 1961 which forbids celebration of feasts during Lent. March 12 invariably falls during this season and for this reason, his feast day was moved to the 3rd of September, the day of his episcopal consecration in 590. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.